one of the unique selling points or the unique benefits that come out of the Integrated Border Management Task Force is that it's trying to bring about a holistic approach, you know, a paradigm shift in the way that we go about our border security type work. In the past, Interpol and other partners could have been quite classical in the way they've gone in. They've gone into countries or supported countries in a one-dimensional approach where you might do a bespoke operation around a particular crime phenomenon, but you might also try and tackle the other issues of intelligence harvesting, um, sharing of that intelligence, then married with an operation developed through uh, an accredited training program which is sustainable in the, f in, in the region but also as well as then drawing in key partners in that region as well, not only to support the operation at the time that it's live, but also to support the sustainable model going forward to the future. The experience that we've had down in Southeast Asia has been twofold. Firstly, we ran some uh, initial operations that were one dimensional in that they were single country focused. And the benefit from that was to uh, consolidate some learning in, in the field for the law enforcement and immigration officers in some of the border control points and to reassure them of the data systems that were being provided and convince them of the merits of that global intelligence that was adding value to the national picture. We then took that a step further in the recent operation where we've then run five consecutive simultaneous operations in three different countries in the region. And the benefit of that has been to, to show the value that the organisation can present at a regional level, not just at a national level. So that's been really important. And secondly, as well as some of the, the successes that have come out of this, one is um, harmonization with airlines and the industry um, to show them that you know, we have a reach that's broader than just one jurisdiction. Secondly, though, as well, is being able to track in live real time criminals and threats between jurisdictions, as we saw with two of the cases that were identified during this operation. So it's quite an innovative approach in that regard, in that we're trying to bring about <coughs> what you could describe as a, a more of a three-dimensional model, where you're not coming in you know, just with, with one particular training aspect. You're really looking at the, the needs analysis and the needs of the country, but through bringing that kaleidoscope of tools and services from Interpol together in a, in a complete and unique package, countries are able now to see in a tangible format the variety of skills and expertise that Interpol has that they can bring to enhance their border security capabilities and their resilience to international crime threat.